Hi, in this session we will discuss about one proving technique which is proof by induction on integers. Here we are given a statement S of n about an integer n and we wanted to prove that this S of n is true. So for that we will follow three steps to prove this S of n. The first step is the basis. We will show that S of i is true for a particular i. Usually this i is very small like 0 or 1 but not necessarily it has to be 0 or 1. It is a primitive or base value, some small value for which we can establish that S of n is true. And in the induction hypothesis we will assume that n, S of n is true for all n greater than or equal to i. We have already proved that S of n is true for n is equal to i in basis. We assume for any n greater than or equal to i, S of n is true. And in the induction, we will establish that if S of n is true, then S of n plus 1 is also true. That is S of n implies S of n, S plus 1. This is the principle of induction. Okay, That is we are proving S of i and we prove that for all n greater than or equal to i, S of n implies S of n plus 1. Then we can conclude S of n for all n greater than or equal to i. We establish for S of n for i, n is equal to i. And for every i which is greater, for every n which is greater than i, we can establish S of n. And finally, if S of n is true, then we imply that S of n plus 1 is also true. Let us take an example. We are given if x is greater than or equal to 4, then 2 power x is greater than or equal to x square. This we wanted to prove. Now, what is the fundamental value for x that we can assume? x is greater than or equal to 4. The smallest value that x can assume is only 4. So, let us assume x is equal to 4. Then, what is 2 power x? It is 2 power 4 which is 16. And what is x squared? 4 squared that is also 16. Thereby, we establish 2 power x is greater than or equal to, the equal to condition holds between 2 power x and x squared. Now, in the induction hypothesis, we will assume that 2 power x is greater than or equal to x squared for some x which is greater than or equal to 4. Now, we wanted to prove s of n plus 1 which is nothing but 2 power x plus 1 is greater than or equal to x plus 1 the whole square. Now what is 2 power x plus 1? It is 2 into 2 power x. And we know that 2 power x is greater than or equal to x square. This we have assumed since we have established the basis. So we can say this is greater than or equal to 2 into x square. This 2 is available as such. This 2 power x is greater than x squared. So, I can say 2 power x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 x squared. But this is not the one that we wanted to establish. We wanted to establish 2 power x plus 1 is greater than or equal to x plus 1 the whole squared. So, if we are able to show 2 power x squared, sorry, if we are able to show 2 x squared is greater than or equal to x plus 1 the whole squared, then by the property of transitivity, I can say that 2, 2 into x squared is greater than x plus 1 the whole square. And 2 power x plus 1 is greater than 2x square. Therefore, 2 power x plus 1 is greater than or equal to x plus 1 the whole square. So, as of now, we have established only 2 power x plus 1 is greater than 2x square, greater than or equal to 2x square. Now, let us try to establish 
2x squared is greater than or equal to x plus 1 the whole square. So we have at one side we have 2x squared, the other side we have x plus 1 the whole square and this is the relation that we wanted to establish. Just to expand this x plus 1 the whole square, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1. Bring this x squared to the left hand side. So we will have 2x squared minus x squared. What is remaining is only x squared in the left hand side. And in the right hand side we have x 2x plus 1. Divide both sides by x. We have x in the left hand side and 2 plus 1 by x in the right hand side. Now what is the least value that x can assume? It is 4. So in the left hand side we have 4. And in the right hand side if you substitute x is equal to 4. We have 2 plus 1 by 4 which is 1 by 4 is 0.25. So 2 plus 1, uh, 2 plus 1 by x is 2.25. So in the right hand side we have 4 and in the left sorry in the left hand side we have 4 and the right hand side we have 2.25. Thereby we can say that x is greater than or equal to 2 plus 1 by x. If you assume any value greater than 4, this 1 by x is going to be even lesser than 1 by 4. So the value that you are going to get in the right hand side will be less than 2.25. The maximum value that we can get is 2.25. So we establish that 2x squared is greater than or equal to x squared. Sorry, 2x squared is greater than or equal to x plus 1 the whole square. And we have already established 2 power x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2x squared. Therefore, 2 power x plus 1 is greater than or equal to x plus 1 the whole square. So, this is the technique of proving by induction. In the next video, I will come up with a more generic way of using induction on integers. Thank you for watching the video.